Hey guys, so for this assignment, we're talking about the critical thinking assignment. Um, and this is where you are going to be submitting your critical thinking assignment, at least the first part. For part two, you'll submit it over here in the critical thinking newscast discussion, but we'll talk about that here in a sec. So this critical thinking assignment is basically saying, okay, can you identify um, a problem in society and then can you create some solutions to it and provide a defense as to why we should implement these different solutions, particularly your solutions. So what is a problem within the realm of, uh, within society in the realm of communication specifically that you see? So luckily communication is related to pretty much everything. So basically any problem in society, you can make it relate. Um, if it seems a little out there, just please make sure that you explain clearly how it relates to communication. Um, but just some different ideas, you could talk about social media, um, communication between different groups or intercultural communication, technology and communication, written communication, uh, verbal or nonverbal communication, different political or diplomatic communication, health communication, especially with um, all the COVID issues in 2020. Health communication has been a big thing. Um, different family communication. So, you know, does eating around a dinner table improve family communication and stuff like that? Or just anything else in general that interests you. So it's really only limited by what you can think of that you find interesting. So for the first part, you are just going to simply define the problem. So the problem is that blanks. So the problem is that people spend too much time on social media, or the problem is that uh, people don't sit around the dinner table as much anymore. The problem is that people on different side the, sides of the political spectrum refuse to listen to each other. And then for question number two, you need to discuss or explain why you personally believe that this is a problem. So this is just you personally, why you think that this is a particular issue. Maybe it's because of things you've seen in your own life or things you've seen with your friends, but just say why you personally think this is a problem. And then in question number three, you will give data that supports um, why, you, why this is an issue. So this is why society may think that this is an issue. So what facts, data, and evidence help support your claim? And you need at least three sources. So please have reliable sources. You can find those on the library website. Try to avoid logical fallacies while you are um, you know, giving your data and evidence and logical reasoning as to why this data supports it. So you can do that with just you know, bullet point, APA style source and then an explanation and then, you know, second bullet point with the source and then explanation. Um, or you can write, you know, paragraphs with uh, in text parenthetical citations. It's up to you stylistically how you do this. Uh, and then question number four. So how does this issue or this problem relate to others in society? So how does social media and, you know, family communication, how does that relate? Are there any things specifically that tie into it really well? And then identify what is currently being done to solve this problem. You know, if you think it's a problem, but other people don't, maybe there's not really anything being done that you can find um, that people are trying to solve it with. And then part A for this one is, what do you think are potential solutions to this problem? So what are other possible solutions? And then pick one of those to say, okay, this is going to be my solution. So just pick whichever one you think of those is the best and say, okay, this is gonna be mine because you're gonna have to defend your solution to the problem and whether that's what someone is currently doing or a different solution that you come up with. Um, so you have to identify some positive or negative potential consequences or benefits to um, these different solutions. So maybe one researcher has a solution, you're like, I don't think that would work. So it would just say, you know, if this gets implemented, then 
these are the potential positive or negative consequences. But this other researcher has a solution. You're like, I kind of like that. So I think these would be some positive or negative outcomes of that. And then you just have to logically defend your particular solution to this problem. And if you scroll down, there is this rubric where it gives you exactly what I'm looking for, exactly how I am grading for this. And even if you scroll down, it's here once again. So you have it twice. You have it here in the document and you also have it here in Canvas. So this is, this is how I will grade you. I will say, okay, on their defense, do they mount a strong logical fallacy, free defense of their solution and its potential consequences? Boom, yes, five points. Um, mostly logical, mostly fallacy free, four and, a, four and a quarter points. So just follow the rubric and you should be okay. And then the second half of this is a newscast. And this is what you're turning into this discussion. And for the newscast, you can definitely do it in a group. So if you and a couple other people in class are doing the same topic and you guys happen to find out about it and you're like, oh, we're both doing this, great. Um, then you can work together to design and present a newscast like you'd see on the evening news. I don't know how many of you guys watch the evening news, but it still does exist. Um, so you are going to be presenting this newscast through video. So you are going to record it and post it into the discussion. Um, informing your audience about the issue, and if you'd like, trying to persuade them to implement uh, whatever solution you decided was best. So like I said, this should be in a newscast or news segment style, and you should not repeat word for word what you say up here. You should summarize it, give some explanation, possibly have some visuals, uh, and make it fun and interesting to watch because your classmates are gonna to have to watch multiple of them and you're gonna to have to watch multiple of them. So try to make it fun and interesting and have a little bit of creative freedom with it. Um, and like I said, you can definitely work in groups, um, but if here is the rubric part for that. So you, just, uh, you demonstrate a clear understanding of your target audience. So you know who you're talking to and you are presenting an effective way of reaching it. You're, you're explaining your topic well. You are on time. You are clear and concise and a full but brief overview of what you're talking about, but you should not be repeating word for word what you said. So you are dressed appropriately. You have appropriate volume um, and preferably no technology issues. So that is our overview for this critical thinking assignment. I am, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys put forward. So have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you.